Uch is Uch because Uch in English is boat. 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 Yeah, and uh, the legend says that uh, somewhere, someone, mm -hmm. uh, some guy uh, came here by boat, and he had no place to sleep, so he okay. turned uh, the, the boat, uh -huh. and he slept uh, under the boat. And okay. uh, after that, uh, uh, in this place, uh, we're building a wood, and that's why wood is wood. Okay guys, so uh, I'm in Bush at the moment and uh, we are going to Gabi's favorite coffee, <laughs> coffee center. So stay with us. And he was like uh, a lot of clothes of himself mm. and oh, it's so cold, it's so cold. Yeah, it, it's cold uh, for people, especially when you're coming from West Africa where like we don't have winter yeah. at all, yeah? Okay, so this is the church, Orthodox church. Okay, okay. In Poland we say it... Uh, oh my god. Prawo Kościół Prawo And this is from the... Uh, Russia. Russia? Russia. Uh, you know, it's Polish but it, it came to Russia, oh, from Russia. Okay. And uh, which century, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, but it should be an old church, I guess. It's really beautiful. Uh, traditional Polish candies and it's called krówka and in English it means uh, a cow. Cow. Yes, because it's made by, by uh, milk oh, and that's why okay. it's krówka. Okay, so. Because you know in Polish it krowa is a cow but krówka is a small cow. Small cow. Yeah. yeah. Here you are. Okay, thank you. Guys, so I'm gonna try krówka. Yeah. <laughs> it's a traditional Polish candy. So Let's see. This is how it looks like. It's kind of looks something similar to Ghana. We call a uh, bit of it. Oh. Yeah. 
Kube means coconut. Oh. Right? And uh, the milk toffee out of them. And it looks similar to the very oh. sweet also. Hmm. Really nice, guys. Yeah. You should try it uh, anytime. And yeah. also, Poland. Yeah, Poland in general. You have to visit a traditional Polish store. Yeah. Yeah, like the box that we visited, and you find them, they are really nice. You can find it everywhere, but uh, you will get it in the traditional uh, Hulk uh, labels. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and so it's good to give someone as a gift. Yeah, uh, okay, guys. So, um, from here, where are we going? Mm, to Poznański's Palace okay. Muse Museum. We are going to the museum from here. Uh, we already had coffee, and I must say it was really nice. Yeah, um, it's called break coffee. Break coffee. Yeah, break coffee. Uh, so in, next time you, you are in Wush, uh, you can try it out. It's on the which street again? Piotrkowska. Piotrkowska. Yeah. So Piotr is the name, all right? Yes, it's uh, because it's, uh, in Poland we have a town Piotrku, and. Uh, before uh, World War II, uh, Piotrkowska goes to Piotrkowska and it was the longest uh, street in Poland. Oh, and that's okay. why it's Piotrkowska. Okay, so maybe I'll show you guys uh, the streets. It's a beautiful street, guys. Yeah, and I learned something big happens in May. So um, definitely I'll be back here in May and we would explore the city together. Okay, so now we are heading towards the museum. Catch you guys. He's a lighter. Lighter. Yeah. Ah. Because um, when um, in past uh, there no uh, we haven't uh, energy mm -hmm. uh, everywhere, so uh, a guy who should uh, light a light lamp. Yeah. Are you tired already? No. Okay. Yeah, you've been walking. Uh, Half an hour, right? Yeah. I still on it. I hope uh, you are enjoying the scenes from Wush. And it's absolutely amazing. Gabby is telling me there's no uh, old town uh, because Wush itself is an old town um, which was not destroyed like uh, what happened in Warsaw because the Germans lived here in. Um, in, in those times, so this city was completely not destroyed at all, um, as Warsaw was. Uh, well, which was developed uh, in 19th century, okay. and before uh, that, it was a, a small city, mm -hmm. small town. And uh, which is which? Because which in English is boat. 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 Yeah, and uh, the legend says that. Uh, somewhere, someone, mm -hmm. uh, some guy uh, came here by wolf boat and he had no place to sleep. So he okay. turned uh, the, wolf, the boat uh -huh. and he slept uh, under the boat. And okay. uh, after that, uh, uh, in this place, uh, we're building a wood. Mm -hmm. And that's why wood is wood. Oh, this is just a boat. <laughs> <laughs> that's an interesting story. So, uh, wish in English means boat. Yeah, and the, the story behind it, it's really, really uh, interesting, you know, some guy sleeping under his boat. Yeah, I guess maybe there was so much cold at that time, so, uh, yeah, that's interesting.
honestly, I don't like either. Yeah, guys, it's like <laughs> today the weather was not so favorable, yeah, and it's getting really cold. But uh, we still have to see here. Yeah. <laughs> Gabby is saying she doesn't like winter. The best time to come to bush is in uh, summer. Okay. Or spring. Or spring, yeah. yeah. That's a uh, one tip from Gabby. Guys, we are almost at the palace. And I can see it uh, from here as I stand. I'm going to show you real quick how it looks like from far. And you are going to go closer to it and take a real close look at it and take uh, the beautiful shots and everything for you guys so let's keep going We just finished our round at the palace and uh, I must say it was so so amazing uh, what is in there but um, I would not um, bring the videos from the palace uh, in this video because I would want to make a whole episode on its own because there were a lot of fun uh, stuff there that you need to see. So now uh, what's the plan? Where are we heading? Uh, we are going to see Manufactura and Manufactura is the biggest mall in wood and uh, before it was a factory Okay. and the uh, factory's owner was uh, Poznański and he was also a owner of this palace Oh, yeah. right! Okay guys, so in your view now is the manufacturer and it's the biggest mall in which I can tell you it's really big, it's really big. So all the uh, color in uh, the brick uh, color, uh, the goldish brown, yeah, is the mall. And yeah, from my view here, I can really see a new Guys, so behind me is the mall. As you can see, it's really big. It's really, really big. Um, Gabby uh, wants us to try uh, some Polish street food. It's a uh, like kind of a donut, uh, but it's different from the American donuts we know. So um, we are going to get some donuts and try it. Um, yeah, guys, our donuts are in. So, I'm going to try it for the first time, yeah. Uh, until it's really nice. Uh, at least that's what Gabi says. <laughs> uh, this is a traditional Polish uh, sweet, uh, it's sweet roll, but uh, rolls are all often baked and this is uh, fried. Okay. Mm. This and this is, is uh, with plum in some. Right. Okay. So, she's already licking her fingers. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. So, let's try Tradition. This is really nice, guys. We eat it on uh, the last Tuesday. The last Tuesday of uh, Carnival. Yeah. So it's um, we are eating on the wrong day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you can also eat it uh, in the normal day. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm learning new things actually. I, I hope you are too, right? So, but don't you eat it too much because it's really fat. Yeah, it's it's really fatty. I think it's it's good for me. Yeah. <laughs> I need to get some fat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
we just finished having lunch at the bicycles, yeah, and uh, I might say it was nice. Um, I think it should be called bicycle because it's a Polish. Oh, okay, bicycle. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, but I can be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, guys. Polish weather. It's raining. Yeah. Uh, we just came to get some hot tea. Yeah. So, tea time. <laughs>